Get your helos out of here now! We will, we will, we will. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. That was... We will. Today we are talking Michael Bay's brand new movie, Ambulance. If you guys are here and you like this video, be sure to drop that thumbs up down below and let me know in the comments. There's been some guy wandering around my house. Don't know where he is. Don't know when he'll pop up next. Maybe we'll see him in this video. Very simple premise here. Two robbers steal an ambulance after their heist goes awry, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Yahya Abdul-Mateen, Eliza Gonzalez, and a plethora of solid talent. As always, we're going to start with the rating. This is rated R for intense violence, bloody images, and language throughout. And the violence is intense, so it may not be a movie for kids. What do we love about Michael Bay? Crazy cinematography, practical effects, the explosions. And I'll be honest, the first one doesn't come until a bit later in the movie, so that was somewhat refreshing, even though I was sitting in anticipation waiting on it. Uh, but also... I love when the guy keeps his movies simple. One of the problems with the Transformers sequels is they become too convoluted. From the storylines to uh, the significant amount of subplots throughout, I just want him to focus on one thing. And the one thing about this movie is the fact that it is essentially a car chase for two hours. You have your setup, you have your establishment of the characters, and then we go off on this adventure that is one big thing and it lasts for a long time now maybe it lasts a bit too long that's one of my bigger issues with this film is it didn't have to be the length that it was and it even felt a bit longer than it ended up being the other clearer slight on this film other than it being too long is that it may just be too over dramatic for some and when i say over dramatic i'm talking dialogue like you tell my wife i love her you tell her yourself. You have your music cues, your slow motion, lots of slow motion in this film. And the moments where the main character's hair is blowing in the wind, you get that shot looking up of him just kind of walking into the sunset. I'll be honest, it's one of the things that I really liked about the first Transformers movie is it gets overly dramatic, but not too much. This one may be too much, especially in the final few moments of the film. The last series of scenes, even some people in our theater were kind of giggling when they shouldn't have been giggling, and I think it's because it was so overdramatic. But at the same time, those same exact people cheered when the movie was over, so clearly... They enjoyed it, and if you look at this like those classic throwback action movies of old that are extremely self-aware, understanding the type of film that it is, a couple of twists and turns along the way, but you can look at it from the standpoint of these two guys are trying to get away. They take this girl captive. The girl is trying to save someone's life. All of these elements are at play in the midst of this wild car chase. And I appreciate that approach, and I appreciate the simplicity of that story. Michael Bay actually does a really nice job with this story. He, he does. I think the script here is one of the better scripts we've had in a Michael Bay film in quite some time, because it understands that you have Jake Gyllenhaal and Yahya Abdul-Mateen kind of at the forefront, so you can just allow them to have that chemistry, have that intensity between them, go back and forth, a lot of tension at play when there needs to be, but you have our, almost our main character in the back trying to save a life. She understands her role, but she's not afraid to say some things that may, could inevitably cost someone their life. So that's that back and forth that I really appreciated, and we're finally able to focus on that after a little bit of character buildup, 20-minute heist scene that the bank robbery scene was actually really entertaining. Looking past some of the dialogue is something you're just going to have to do. There are a couple of cheesy one-liners that are the definition of cheesy one-liners, but I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy a few of those moments, a few of those conversations, and then... Uh, as it escalates throughout, I was on the edge of my seat. I made this comparison and, and you know, don't look at the movies themselves and the quality of the films because clearly I prefer one over the other. Uh, but Mad Max Fury Road is a movie that knows exactly what it is. It's one long road trip. It focuses on practical effects, which this movie does. Sure, it's over-exaggerating. Cop cars will just kind of not have to do it, but they'll slam into each other and do flips and all these things. And it's it, it's a lot, but it's a lot of entertainment and that's why you go to the movies you go to the movies to see all of these crazy things to see uh, you know people firing at each other and using these huge weapons and and even the arguments that Jake Gyllenhaal was having with some of these police officer characters it was super fun to watch so all in all 
I had a fun time with this movie, even with my criticisms and the wild cinematography. Some great cinematography in there, some epic slow motion shots where you can see everything going on, but sometimes it just kind of, it just kind of goes everywhere. And you got the, you got the drones, a lot of drones. And so it's kind of, it's going up and it's going down. It's going up and here it comes down again. Here we go. It's got to, it's got to scale back on that. Just, I appreciate it. I love the stylistic elements at play. I love the fact that Michael Bay is trying to do something different. Scaling back on that may be something to look at in the future, but I don't know. Before I give you guys my score, thanks so much for being here. The best way to support this video is to drop that thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. And follow me on Twitter for movie reactions and such. Ambulance is intense and entirely aware of the type of movie that it is. This throwback action flick uses its simplicity to its advantage, and it allows our leads to flourish in their roles. It may be too overly dramatic for some, and the drones can be a bit much, but you know what? I had fun with this movie. So much fun that I'm going a 70% with my score. It's one of those movies that I think is worth watching in the theater. Is, is he here again? Hello? Sir, how did you get... He's gone. I told you guys there was a random guy wandering around my house. Kind of looks like Sean Chandler. I don't know if that's Sean Chandler. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it big time. I'll see you soon.